Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this very exciting Mason Media tutorial, we're taking a look at conflict resolution inside of DaVinci Resolve. This can happen if you're coming from another NLE like Premiere, and you have an XML, and you import it, and you relink your proxies, and then there's some time codes and or real name overlap that just throws Resolve off and gets all confused. And you'll be coloring away, and then the client will come in and say, hey, that's the wrong clips. And you're like, oh shoot, that is the wrong clips. So you see in our edit page in DaVinci Resolve, we've got these little red exclamation points here, which are no bueno. But luckily, since you watch this tutorial, you know how to fix it relatively quickly. There may be a faster way, but you know, this is the only way I know how to do it for now. So you double click on this guy. And you can see this is the clip that's referencing, and this is, you know, another option that it has there. And there may be even more than two, but normally times is just two. And if you see in Premiere, we go to that same spot where the edit is. You can see this is a completely different clip. You see it ends in C013. And our one here ends in C012. So we hop back over to Resolve. We just click on C013. And there we go. It's edited. And you see, I need to change my grade a little bit because I was referencing the wrong clip. Good job. And so you just go through, and hopefully there's normally less than this. But double click on here. So see, this one has three. It's referencing uh, C012. You've got C013 and C014 available. Hop over to Premiere. See this next one is C014, select C014, and just like that. And it seems tedious, but if you try and do this manually without this feature, it takes many more minutes and much more time. So, you know, use this feature as you, um, as you can. See, it's not in all the clips in here, but it's in a lot of them. Uh, I've noticed that it happens a lot with the Ursa Mini shooting 120 frames per second, so you know, watch out for that. But it can probably happen with other cameras too. So anyway, if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Mr. Media YouTube channel. If you want even more good stuff, check out mrmedia.com slash products where you can buy the Swiss LUTs, which you can see here. It's been available for a while. It's been really well received. I just use them a lot on a recent project uh, to just get versions out to a client who is very indecisive. So just, you know, put on the timeline and drop a LUT on. Does this look good? timeline does this look good and then he finally found a look that he liked and it went from there and you know applied to each clip and graded the whole thing actually but you know let's are good for that just going real fast getting lots of different grades swiss lets 99 99 grades also house lets on there people like that uh bright light light leak pack lens junk i also use lens junk on that project good stuff you know you know it's good stuff um but yeah i've plugged away enough now you're probably not not here anymore but if you are thumbs up etc once again i'm with you with the media have a great day and i will see you next time bye <laughs>